close the trust gap and mobilize your boss. To be relevant to your boss, the issues you, you tackle must be big, and that's big as seen by uh, the board, ultimately. That meet, it means meeting two sets of needs, the customers and the companies. The left circle are your customers' top needs. The right circle are your CEO's top needs. The overlap between them is what we call the value creation zone, or V-zone for short. So this is just the marketing concept, a new way of looking at it. Obviously, marketers tend to be stronger on the left circle. You have to be equally strong in understanding the right circle and helping to drive that overlap between them. Now, think about what happens when people work outside the V-zone. As an Apple employee in the early 1980s, Steve Jobs created his own team to work on his pet project, which was the Apple Mac. They had their own building, and they had a pirate flag on top, because Jobs said it's better to be a pirate than in the Navy. As we all know, he was an extreme perfectionist. There were therefore huge cost and time overruns. Meanwhile, Apple was going bust. It was hemorrhaging cash, and many people, including myself, thought it was about to go bust. So Jobs was brilliant at understanding and meeting customers' needs, but he hardly cared about the company's cash needs. He thought somehow the finance people can fix that. He didn't really much care about what the CEO thought, who was a man from Pepsi-Cola he didn't much respect. He only focused on the left-hand circle. He worked outside the V-zone. He almost bankrupted the business, and the CEO fired him. So this was the sort of six years or whatever it was when Jobs wasn't working for Apple. Obviously, we're marketers, we know that if you only focus on the company circle and don't meet the customer's needs, that's the other road to ruin. So how about you? What are the top three customer needs you're tackling? How are you also meeting the CEO's top three needs? Are you and your team working in the V zone? Think about that. Now, that's not... Uh, the only issue, there are other things you can do to mobilize your boss, like delivering demonstrable returns on your investment and working with the best external partners. That's the 12th, okay? That didn't account for very much uh, of our two dependent variables, business impact and career success. But if you take those three factors together, they explain 23% of the variation in our senior marketers' business impact and 15% of the variation in their career success and this is as a proportion of the total variation explained by the 12 powers together, okay, which is the 55% of, uh, you know, that's excluding the business and functional skills and B2B versus B2C and so on. Okay, so this is uh, pretty uh, chunky. Thank you.